the impact of climate change and, and human rights are, are related in every level. Uh, climate change affects rights and human rights are one of the key aspects to addressing climate change. We have to have human rights based approaches if we're going to be successful in, in making uh, you know, our, our response to climate change effective and there's no doubt at all that thousands of people, millions of people are so directly having their human rights abridged already by climate change. 500 million children live in flood prone areas, 160 million are exposed to severe drought, and 115 million are at risk of tropical cyclones. Drought and floods destroy harvest and increase food and nutrition insecurity. Malnutrition makes children more vulnerable to severe diseases and it is the underlying contributing factor for 35% of all child deaths. Almost all substantive rights of the child may be affected by climate change. The right to life, survival and development, non-discrimination, the best interests of the child, as well as the rights to rest, leisure, play, rec recreational activities, cultural life and the arts, freedom from exploitation, protection from all forms of violence, the right to health and an adequate standard of living, housing, food, water and sanitation. Polar ice caps are melting, sea levels are rising, typhoons and hurricanes are wrecking havoc, forest fires are choking our skies, and our fossil fuel driven economies are turning our cities into veritable gas chambers. Children need to be part of this discussion themselves. They can be part of the agents for change, for um, having their own voices heard. They will be impacted by it. They should be at the table when we're discussing it. So we really do need, when we're fighting to protect the rights of children relating to climate change, to involve them in the discussion. We can start at the grassroots level by spreading awareness locally amongst our peers, amongst our families, schools, and talking, then going on to nationally, regionally, and then being involved in agenda setting, decision making and implementation, because it is our future that we are talking about. So we should be involved in all levels of decision making, whether it's local or whether it's international.